On the menu today. Oh, that is a good question. Ow, that was my finger meat. Bum bum McPoopy fart face. And I'll just leave it at that. <laughs>Chip Dippers, and welcome to another episode of Lady Fractics Retro Recipes. Oh, oh, okay, is that so? All right, let's get her on here. Ready? Hi. Hello again. <laughs> we keep meeting like this. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, she, it, it, she's real. The last time we had Josie Fractic on the channel, we had a very long list of questions coming in as to who is Josie Fractic? Is she your daughter? Is she your sister? We have asked our Patreons to submit questions to ask Josie Fractic so that you can meet Josie Fractic. Correct? Correct. <laughs> Should we get to the questions? Yes. Excellent. I have not seen these. She has not. No. There will be a test at the end. Oh. <laughs> All right. And again, thank you so much to our Patreons and supporters for submitting these questions. If you would like a chance to ask Josie Fractic in the future, please consider subscribing to our Patreon and YouTube. And YouTube. And to YouTube. <laughs>
This is my friend Bunny. And we like to tell about you, PCB Way. Or you could give PCBs for five dollars. How do you, Lady Fractic? Thank you, Harley Fractic. <laughs> because as we all know, PCB stands for printed whoa, circuit. Whoa, whoa, what? What? No. It stands for perfectly courteous broads, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Patreon inside, spelled not the way you think it is, says, Hi, Josie Fractic. What are your favorite cosplay outfits that you've made? Did you ever finish Spider-Gwen and try it out? Well, specifically, I've never cosplayed Spider-Gwen. I have cosplayed Gwen Stacy, which I have finished, and I do have a spider suit, which I, I bought. I wasn't making any modifications to it, so that one is, I guess you could say, completed. Some of my favorite cosplays would probably include... You recently started that Jane Foster Mighty Thor cosplay, right? I did. It's not finished yet. I'm still waiting on some uh, leather that I'm ordering. I can't get my hands on it quite yet, but I have had to learn a lot of new skills and skills that I'm really, really proud of myself for learning and picking up armor making. Uh, I've worked with Warbla for the first time and making a fitted bodice and making it look like armor. Um, you know, foam smithing, something that I'm hoping to get more good at. I've been doing that for a little while. So I am waiting for some materials for that one. It is slow goings, but I'm hopeful that with my waiting for the right products and the right materials, I will be able to make a really, really good finished product. Paul Smith says, hi Josie, on a scone, would you put the jam first or the cream? <laughs> that is a good question. Do you know the civil war between the cream or the jam? No. So this will tell a lot. Okay. All of our well, people we've, from- We've gotten scones together before. We have. So please continue. Yes. Well, we have all of our friends from Devon and Cornwall, because that's where clotted cream comes from. Mm -hmm. They have very strong opinions on it. So now you get to give them your opinions. Personally, I think taste-wise, it's probably the same, but I know I'm probably going to be offending some people by whatever I end up saying. So I think the last time I had a scone, I did jam first and then clotted? No, do we do clotted cream and then I always do cream first. I probably did whatever Lady Fractic did. So I did clotted cream and then jam. But I truly think that I would still live to tell the tale if I did jam first and then cream. The reason that I do cream first is because it's a barrier layer and sometimes the inside of a scone can be quite crumbly. Mm -hmm. So if I, it's the same thing why you would put down butter before putting something else on top of it. It yeah, just stops. It's just a nicer layer to put the jam on top. And if you're so put out by it, just flip it upside down. Problem solved. I feel like these are the same people that argue about putting uh, milk into the saucer before the tea. Because oh. there are people who are milk in first. Huh. But I have read that that was because the finer the bone china, you needed to put the cold milk in first before putting in the hot tea because it would crack the that's the interesting. bone china. I didn't know that. Yeah. The only time I draw the line is when people do milk and then cereal. That is, that is heinous. I, I cannot. Those are cereal killers. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bum Bum McPoopy Fart Face would like to know. Are you for real? Bum Bum McPoopy Fart Face would like to know. Are you an angel? Are you an angel? That is a Star Wars reference from our Patreon Bum Bum McPoopy Fart Face. <laughs> Bum Bum McPoopy Fart Face. That's real. Yes. <laughs> That's a. They get to make up their own screen names, so. Mm -hmm. You know what? More power to you. So, are you an angel? No. Nope. I'm a human. He's a human. I'm a human. That is a. Human. I, we think it's a reference to episode one when um, young Anakin meets- Episode one of Retro Recipes. No. Okay. This is a Star Wars <clears throat> reference to episode one, where Anakin meets Padme for the first time. Anakin is a 10 year old boy working in a um, chop shop mm -hmm. and he is a slave. Yes. And he meets her and he goes, are you an angel? And then he talks about how there's angels. He's heard stories yeah. of angels. I well, I don't look like Natalie Portman, if that's what you're asking. 
and I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Lee Valenti, which we've had, we've talked about on the show many times, says, if Perifractic could make a documentary style video on any subject you choose, what would it be about? I love food, so I would love to see him narrate something to do with food, maybe a, a food travel show or a cooking show, for example, retro recipes in a literal sense, like actual, like food recipes, perhaps. That could be funny. Like, I think that but, we do retro recipes. Should we do retro recipes? Yeah. Lady and Josie Fractic in the kitchen. We do love cooking. We do. We cook together, we send each other food-related TikToks <laughs> all, day <long>. all <laughs> the time, back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Comment below if you'd like to see that. Absolutely. <laughs> that would be really fun. TD Bauer has a few questions for you. And if you don't know them, because there's some I don't think you'll know, you can just say pass, because okay. you don't know. <clears throat> Cats or dogs? Ooh. Book or movie? Movie. Did Han shoot first? I don't know the answer to that one. I know what the reference is, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Trek. Oh, <laughs> Nicholas Sparks books or movies? I have not read any Nicholas Sparks books. I do like reading books. I know I said I preferred yeah, movies to books. I do like reading. I love dogs. I'm just a little, I have some dog allergies in where I come from, so I'm just more accustomed to cats. You don't have to explain. <clears throat> I mean, you might actually. I probably have to explain that yeah. one. Um, I'm gonna upset people no matter what I say with that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Um, I have not read any Nicholas Sparks books. The only Nicholas Sparks movie I've seen is the last song because I am a big Miley Cyrus girly. I did not even know Miley. she was in that. Yeah. Okay, you will not know these. Okay. Big Trouble in Little China or Captain Ron? No idea. This is when Kurt Russell was young and hot. Okay. And uh, it's Goldie Hawn's husband. Okay. And he's just like hot and buff and funny in these. So yeah, I'm cool to see that. Game Closet Retro, AKA Harley Fractic, or her father. <laughs> what is your favorite hobby or pastime? I do trapeze. So that is my favorite hobby at the Ooh. moment. I've been taking some trapeze classes. Weirdly enough, it's something that I've wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. I watched a lot of Cirque du Soleil growing up. My dad built me a trapeze in the backyard and I Casual. wanted to be a tra <laughs> from a tree. like the little, little wooden dowel with two ropes hanging from a branch in a tree. And I played on it quite a bit. I'm from Maryland. Yeah. Um, so I grew up in rural Maryland and there weren't any classes nearby where I was growing up. So now that I'm a big girl, I have in been taking- In Hollywood. <laughs> I've been taking trapeze classes as something to do that really just fills my soul. And I'm pretty sure every child ever has wanted to be in the circus at some point. So I think that many point. people are just like, mm -hmm. including me. I also like okay. cosplay and reading books and- Not Nicholas Sparks books. Apparently not. Things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never read one either. Oh, and I love makeup and- Lip gloss. I love lip gloss. Yeah. Some people were saying we wore too much lip gloss, so I put on Extra yeah. lip gloss today. <laughs> Do you cry when watching the synth music? Especially when Maria returns to the children? Yeah, I haven't seen the sound of music in a long time, but it is a very emotional second half of that movie, that's for sure. I know whenever they're running from the Nazis, I definitely cry. And when they finally get to the hills, I definitely cry tears of relief. I cry. I'm also a big crier. I <laughs> will cry at the drop of a hat. Or just like an extra pleasant hug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a food choice. Would you rather have- I love food. A That's decadent... another hobby of mine. I know, I was wondering food. if you'd say that. Yeah, I should have said that. Um, would you prefer a decadent German chocolate, an aged steak prepared to perfection, a fantastically greasy gourmet burger, a chilled salad with your favorite dressing, or a cheesecake to die for? I love a good greasy burger, but too greasy, and it just makes me feel like gut bomb. So yes. I'm gonna cross that one out. Okay. I like salads. It, that sounds lovely and refreshing, but doesn't hit the same spot like something more decadent would. I love steak. I love meat, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the dessert on this one. You love so. meat too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you also have the cheesecake and the German chocolate. What would you pick between the two? I would pick the steak. The steak? The steak. The steak? Yeah. Typically, I would probably go for a cheesecake. How about we just do one of each and then have a perfectly balanced meal? Perfect. 
Patreon named Soul, spelled not the way you would imagine it, asks, what thing about modern computers annoys you the most? To be frank, I'm not frank. I'm just... <laughs> the things that annoy me the most about modern computers are things that I could probably easily fix myself if I cared to. For example, <laughs> my laptop. The keys are so flat on my MacBook, which is very nice and sleek, but it doesn't have the same satisfying clickety-clack. But I could easily buy a clickety-clackety keyboard if you I know really where to wanted get one, one. From diarrhea. Exactly. Um, I might I might have more of a need to buy something to make it more fun. Well, I think that's all we have time for. So thank you so much to Josie Fractic. You're and welcome. thank you to our supporters for all of their fantastic questions. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below. And cheerio. Because as we all know, PCB stands for printed circuit. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. What is it? I'm trying to get. That's going in a whoopers too. <laughs>